Hey everyone, this is a replay of mine playing the Vakuin in Narai. I was just playing it just for fun, and it turned out quite well, which you will see. Start, same as always, load AP, get ready for the, the Gua. Now, previous replays in the VOC have been version 3, so this is, I guess, an updated replay for 3.1 of Narai. And one thing I forgot to use here is the reload booster. destroyers, you can see a noticeable shell arm difference between Minsk, Leningrad, and Vok. Switching to AP there, getting ready to shoot the Emerald. And with the death of Wyoming, Iron Duke spawns. Now, the replay kind of sucks at showing where I'm firing. I'm showing firing usually half ahead, half on, half on torpedo guide. It's usually the best uh, direction you want to use for firing your torpedoes. Transport cruiser is free to go, and I'm just going to heal briefly before heading out. Now, if you're if you want to be safe, you can stay here in the healing circle while the cruisers are getting sunk by your teammates. But I'm headed for that smoke. As operations isn't called competitive farming for nothing. And this is at least a partial div. To be exact, we have five out of seven in the division. pretty quickly and I want to get rid of them so I can go talk to Missouri so I'm using the reload booster here. Now the 
Emerald is a pretty good angle where I can pretty much start using AP. As you can see, make sure you want to watch and dodge torpedoes. One thing to note about the Vok, it does not have the Alpha to take out the Missouri. So what you want to do is let the Missouri have your teammates damage a little bit. And I saw that the York had fired torpedoes Missouri Beach, so I held torps, seeing where it would end up, and I was right that it would beach. Enemy battleship sunk. With the Missouri taken care of, the next order of business is the Lexington. If you don't know what I'm doing hitting M by now, you definitely haven't watched many of my replays yet. Now one thing to note, you see where Vyadu and Nazara is going? He is pushing a little too far to the east, and he's going to pull the Nicholas to him. Engine boost deactivated. Now the torpedo setup is actually pretty convenient on the Vok having a third set to fire from the other side, which makes a total of nine. But the third set of torpedoes is just a uh, insurance, you could say, to make sure the Lexington doesn't escape. Now, with the Vaya over there confronting the Phoenix, normally when I have a teammate there, I would go out and help. But there's not much advantage to going in the bay from the north side with the Vok as it has no smoke. So with no smoke on the Vaklin, you want to be a little more cautious and come in with everybody else. Yes. 
along with a no other destroyer, any other destroyer, other than say Shiratsuyu, if you take torpedo reload, you would normally have smoke here to give yourself some cover, but the Vakulin has no smoke at all. Engine boost activated. So I figure, what the heck? I'm gonna speed boost and charge in. And the Farragut is far away. The Omaha is far away. The closest targets are the two battleships, the New York and the Baton. And I can charge and get some torps on these two battleships. Paying attention from shots that are inbound. It's not that hard to dodge shots, as you can see. With torps at the baton, sinking it. I'm launching torps at the New York. And if you remember what I said on some previous replays, if you watch them, I like to stagger my torpedoes rather than fire all sets at once. That way you always have torpedoes ready at convenient times to use. And that makes a torpedo man. We destroyed an enemy cruiser. Now here I'm confronted with the Indianapolis and Gallant. I'm not that worried about the Gallant and the Indianapolis has a long reload. So there is a chance they may seek me, but there's also a good chance they won't. And at this point, obviously I'm looking to retreat and get out. AP loaded different Indianapolis. Citadels and torpedoes firing at the Queen Elizabeth. some reason they stopped shooting at me and I don't know why but hell I'll take it right And with less than 2,000 troops, we just need to finish by seeking the Colorado. So what do you think? Do you like the Vlock? It's definitely more risk than most other destroyers, except for maybe the Shira without uh, smoke. You can willing to give this a try? Let me know. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.